Very warm welcome to you, Meat Pie. I am going to talk about the Bitcoin price today, where we are going, and we're going to dive a bit deeper into the filters and potential edge we can get to discovering what altcoins might outperform Bitcoin and Ethereum, which is ultimately my goal and should be everybody's goal in crypto. But first, your friend, yours truly, has been suspended from Twitter Rooney. Why? They think I'm an actual AI, which is very disrespectful to AI themselves. They think I'm a robot. There are scammers and there are spammers all trying to impersonate me. They've even got the hearts going too. There is a campaign here. Thank you very much, Mr. Jackson and everybody else. This is a campaign going on to free something. Wow, I'm trending on Twitter. How about that? Woo! Pump my bags, please, sirs. We can scroll down here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. One, two, three, and four of your friends' summies. That's right. Four hearts of friendship and justice. We have another shirt here. I'm sure there's a gray one coming up soon. Could there be a gray shirt? Wow. Look at you. Look at this. Yes, there is a gray shirt. So when we're sweating, we have proof of sweat because we're training in these shirts. I love those shirts, by the way, friends. And we even have dark gray, too. Thank you very much. Wow, this is fantastic. Thank you very much, friends. So, oh, of course, here we got the slippers that are coming out with the cute socks. So <laughs> we're going, we're going through so much fun here, friends. Now, let's go through some technical analysis. This is a weekly chart. Okay. When I show you this, don't go down in time frames because there are a lot of fake outs. The indicator is gonna proc green and proc red, flip, 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 flip. And there's been some nasty ones this year. On the weekly time frame, it's very hard to truly manipulate it in one way for such a long time without a huge amount of force. So it's rare for it to do it. Now, this is Bitcoin on a weekly. If you notice in here, we have a green. See this buy? So it's still green. So all you got to do is just look at the background here. See this nice and green. Bitcoin moved three times its ATR to the upside in January this year and it started going up. I want to show you something pretty cool from here that I discovered. You see, markets, friends, they move in like these fractals, mirror versions of themselves. It's kind of fascinating. So in January of 2022, which is here, January 2022, we procced red. So we just flipped red. What we did was we pulled back into my 21 EMA, which is my golden rope. See these golden ropes here? 21 EMA. We pulled into it. We slapped down. This was the Russia-Putin war fees. Then we pulled back up into it for a second time, and then we were off to the races and capitulations. So we did two pullbacks, and then the big move came. Let me show you this now, okay? Let's actually leave this here. So two, two pullbacks and a capitulation. Have a look at this. Remember, this was in January 2022. We, we flipped red. Watch. January 2023, we flipped green. We pulled into... The golden ropes. This was the USDC depegging. We pushed up. This is the Pepe run. We come down. The SEC brought us down with their scamming and grifting because the SEC are thieves. The SEC bring us down to the golden ropes again. What comes next? If it was to repeat, perhaps with this BlackRock ETF, maybe we get a front running of the Bitcoin halvening and BlackRock ETF. That's possible here. Just like we disconnected on the way down, maybe we go that way on the way up. Let's actually see the distance we went down. We went down a whopping to the very, very bottom, 65%. First wave was 60%. If we went up from here, how much would 60% be? Oh, that's crazy, friends. That's $43,000. So if we were to move these exact distance down, if we were to reflect it on the way up, it would bring us to about 43K to 50K around this zone. A lot of you get scared and nervous when I say this, but it's just the truth, friends. You got to be prepared for every scenario. And if they, which is the collective market, if it wants to price in the Bitcoin halvening of April 2024, if it wants to price it in, in like October, November, December this year with Bitcoin up here and altcoins flushing up, then it's only responsible for you to do something with your portfolio there, even if it's a tiny 5%. There's no harm in taking off 5%, paying a bit of taxes, and then just leaving it there just in case they dump us into the halvening and we realize, uh-oh, we got conned. We have, to, we have to buy the next round of blood. This was the exact scenario that played out in 2019. And also, it's similar to what happened in 2015 bear market, but there's no guarantees because there is still looming background Bitcoin for sale. 
there is just to let you know so there is 140,000 mount gox to be sold right rumored was sep september this year there's also 40,000 from government i think silk road there's also gbtc is still minus 36 percent so it's just signs that there are looming sellers out there it doesn't mean we can't go up because we can always do that friends i mean you can think it's it's too expensive here, but if Bitcoin can still go to 48, 50K, it can still do that. But it's just something to think about that the crowd has forgotten about these, right? So this is so important to look at because we're just trying to guess, we're trying to speculate, okay, what happens to us, me and you, if Bitcoin goes up to 40, 50K? We feel happy. We think the best is yet to come. We think it's going to go even higher on the Bitcoin halvening. We think people will start saying we could be at 70,000 by the Bitcoin halvening. Maybe people will say that. But what we might find is that was the sell the news event and we sell off into that. So that's possible. We have to be ready for that scenario. Is that scenario guaranteed? No, it's not. There is another scenario. Of course, we can just go down to zero as that scenario. But if we follow a trajectory of the 2015 bear market, then it will be slow and methodical up and going down, okay? So there's no real cause for concern. There was never some sort of big wave, right? We, we go up like that. That's actually what the 2015, 2016 behavior looked like. It was just grinding up and it just grinded along the, 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 the golden rope. That's what it looked like. So we don't know what's going to happen. We never know what's going to happen. But if you're prepared, at least you will be able to take action. When it comes there, no one's going to be saying anything friend, negative, friends. No one. They're going to be saying Black, BlackRock, $9 trillion, $100 trillion, all the money's coming in. That's what everybody's going to be saying. And you might say, well, can you just hold and do nothing? Of course you can. Of course. But these moves come once or twice a year. It's not like you're getting out and then getting back in in like a day or four hours these are giant macro moves. This is what it is. It's a giant macro move. And if it comes, we'll be ready to take action. So of course, friends, I want to let you know as well, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for liking, subscribing, press the bell button on all friends. Now, look at this. So this is a common crypto mistake. The common crypto investor mistake is turning into a trader. Most of the time, the best thing to do is nothing. Nothing, all right? So you got to stick to your high conviction plays, keep DCA buying. And look at this, you know, so if you have a coin here, friends, you're coin with this little box. And let's say your coin just goes sideways. It's not moving. And what you notice is, let's say there are other coins out there. So this coin up here is like Pepe and it goes up to the moon. And then other another coin goes like, you know, a third of the way to the moon. When This is a very common occurrence in crypto. So what people will do is, is they will sell their coin and they'll go buy the tops of the others. But eventually there is a scenario there is a filter that we have to have such that we actually abandon certain weight of our current bags don't worry it's nowhere near close but i want you to know you got to be prepared for everything in this game everything and what i mean by that well let's say for example you are holding pulse pulse chain hex doge chain link whatever it is you're holding something okay let's say we're holding this we're doing nothing and then let's say, you know, Polkadot, D-O-T, Polkadot have a lot of developers, 2,000 plus developers, but they still haven't created anything new. There's the, the, it's hard to use the GUI, it's hard to use all this stuff for the new, new people. Now, what if they actually make something and it hits off? What if? Now, they haven't yet, but what if they do? We might see Polkadot's price start going up, all right? Do we jump into Polkadot? No, we don't. You chill out. So... I want you to know this is how the game works. If Polkadot is going up, there are other ecosystem coins, okay? These are all, these branches are ecosystem coins, okay? And if Polkadot goes up, we will have one, two, three, four weeks to observe their ecosystem to see, okay, what's the DEX? What's going on with the DEX? Is there a money market? Are there different protocols? Who? What are the most famous protocols? What's their price action going? And when that happens, friends, because Polkadot is up so much, you will be able to buy a few of them and you'll be able to make, oh, you probably won't make because you're not on the floor, you won't make you like 10, 20, 30x, but you might be able to make a two or a three x playing with the momentum, okay? I'm just being conservative here just to be realistic. It's possible, two, three, four, five x. That is very possible. But if it's just Polkadot itself moving or something else, then you don't touch it. So that's why I say 99% of the time, the best thing to do is do nothing, friends. The best thing to do is literally just do nothing because you have a scenario. 
You know what I'm describing to you? This exact same thing happened in 2021. Let me tell you this. You ever heard a coin called Matic? Matic went to the moon, went up like 18 to 20x, but the DEX on Matic, quick swap, was not moving for like two days. The DEX was doing this, and then it eventually went 20x. So you have these opportunities that do appear when these coins start to move. That's why you don't want to jump the gun because if you're selling your bag here, you don't even know if your thesis is wrong yet. You might just need another one week, another one month, another six months for Bitcoin to hit a threshold on Ethereum and for you to actually get the fulfillment that you're looking for, okay? So that's why I've got to reiterate to you, you don't chase these coins. Hodling is a real meme. Hodling is, see, she's hodling a baby. Hodling is now laughed at because as I just showed you right now, of course, we procked red, all right? So we, we flipped red and we just went red forever and ever. All the old coins went down. No one believes in hodling anymore. Everyone thinks it's disgusting. Everyone thinks it's a complete scam. And when did everybody make their hodling scam videos? All the way down at the bottom, funnily enough. And then we're <laughs> right around the corner from flipping green. So that's important to know. So for example, you're gonna need some, you're gonna need some filters, friends. We don't have all the filters. We don't have all the filters, but we do have a bit of help, me. I'm here doing this research for you for free, 18 hours a day, because you deserve it and you're my friend and kind. you're a kind sir or a kind madam out there. Look at this. So Pulse Chain, for example. So you know with Pulse Chain, we're holding Pulse, PulseX. They're very, very cheap. Hopefully they start recovering soon, right? They're very, very cheap. Obviously Pulse below the day one sacrifice. You have PulseX even below the biggest whale multiplier sacrifice. That's how destroyed we are. But look at this. I have this table here. Shout out to Mr. Elmo for making it. So the DEX on PulseX is a Uniswap V2. It's a Uni V2, okay? So in Uni V2, basically the orders on the sell and the orders on the buy are symmetrical, okay? So for example, it's $1,000 at every single price to sell and then $1,000 at every single price down to buy. That's Uni V2 and you can't, multi you can't change it. But with Uni V3, what you can do is clobber it. You can put like $10,000 in the inside market, 10K, and then you have nothing here, and then you put like $5,000 here, right? But this this wall is giant, right? And you could also put like $20,000 to sell on the way up. You can do that on the way up, and it's it's harder to 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 sift through. Look at this. Look at this. You only had $1,000 here, but on this one, you can have $20,000. So Uni V2 is easier to pump. It's easier. And we know this on PulseX. So here we go. I'm going to show you this. So we have some rough calculations and some numbers. What we've done is we have a table here. Look at the look at the multiplier from here. You see this multiplier column? So let's just go to something like the 10x. If you want to look at the 10x, friends, see this column, this, this row here? A 10x, how much USD is needed? $100 million to give you a 10x. So even to give you a 5x, all you need is $57 million. So in crypto, this is obviously, this is nothing, especially for the rest of the world, this type of money coming in. You know, just to move Bitcoin up 2%, you need about two to $400 million. That's right. That's how thick all the leverage trading and the books are, okay? $400 million. You know, $400 million in Pulse would put it 100x. Look at this, $400 million. 100x. Now, of course, I've got to reiterate to you, of course, this is not completely true because there are going to be sellers on the way up. But just showing you the theoreticals of what happening is, right? Just like, hey, with Bitcoin, there are sellers on the way up too. Michael Saylor is going to sell. There's going to be the, um, there's Mt. Gox. They've got to sell the 140,000 Bitcoin on the way up. You have the government. They're going to be clipping sell too. So it works both ways. But just to show you, this is our edge here. So people want to know, okay, what is the filter? What's the secret formula? You see, remember, in the stock market, friends, they have all these filters. Like, you know, they have a PE ratio, right? You look at the cash flow. Uh, look at this other ratio of the, the dingbat with the, the Nutella sandwich, whatever it is, okay? These are all known. Everybody knows to look for these lists. So this is in Stonks World, okay? In Stonks World, everybody has the formula. Now, a lot of people have an engineering or science background. They will prefer Stonks than crypto, why? Because stonks have more of a formula. It is not a complete formula, but there are. there's a process. There's, okay, I start with the cash flow. I look at the balance sheet. I look at the accounts. What's the liability? There's, there's an actual formula that people have gone out there. In crypto, in crypto, which is, I'm just going to draw a big fat poopy sludge here, and we're going to be a very, very smiley poopy face, okay? In crypto, our casino, there is no formula. 
Nothing. There's no list. You are watching the list. I made the list. I'm making it right now. I make these videos here for you. Thank you very much, friends. Press the bell button here and press all. Thank you very much. Press like on this video if you enjoy it. And also comment and confirm our friendship in the comment section. I am making the book. There is no book, friends. I get asked this every single day. They say, hey, is there any other material like you so we can go read a book and do this? No. No, there isn't. That's why I did this for you. I'm literally doing this for you. Okay, I'm not going to sit here, make this like PDF for $20 and send it, sell it to everyone. No, I don't enjoy that. No one else enjoys that. I am here to sit here and be your friend. Okay, we're going to kill two birds with one stone. We're going to eat two Nutella sandwiches with one lunch sitting. That's what we're going to do. So when we have a look at this, friends, this is why crypto is unknown. But also a lot of people, when they see these unknown, they see these squiggly lines and like, oh, what's happening? Unknown, unknown. They run away from it. But let me tell you something. Because there are unknowns, this is going to be a big rocket emoji here, okay? <sighs> rocket going to the moon, okay? This is what we want, and here are some clouds here, okay? So this is exactly what you want. You want the unknown. You want uncertainty. You want people not to know the formula. You don't want there to be a model. You know, there is a stock to flow model with Bitcoin, right? It goes up like this, like, oh, Bitcoin's gonna hit 100K in the future because of this model. That's bearish. That's bearish. People now have a model. There are people who are weak hands who leave, right, other coins because there's no model. And they will go join as weak hands into Bitcoin because there is a model. And there's Bitcoin, there's Ethereum models too, friends. You don't want to see this. Look, if you're in a coin and one day I tell you, hey, if you hold five years, your coin will have a model of, of it. That's what you want to be in. You don't want to be when the model is there. You want to be when the model doesn't exist. That's because there's no real weak hands left. All the boomers and the volatility and the edge is going to be in the unknown part. Once it's finally established and mature and everyone's got their own theories about how everything works, it's too late. You know this from Bitcoin, diminishing returns. So this is the truth that you got to go through, friends. So this is why I've just shown you one little edge. So yes, you can go look at the DEXs for every other exchange, every other uh, network effect out there or the other layer ones. Yes, they'll have uni v2 as well So it's not the be all and end all but this is our edge This is our edge friends. Not everyone knows about this No one actually knows how much money is required and how little and easy it is to go hyperbolic parabolic to the upside Think about this. Just think about the overflow when Bitcoin comes up like like people people I honestly want to tell me like Bitcoin's great friends. We love it. We do but what are you going to do when Bitcoin's 50K, okay? What's your upside here? You know everyone's selling at 100 and it might not even hit there. What? <laughs> You're risking everything for a, literally just a double? Come on, man. That's We know the game. We know the game. But we've got to get ahead of the game. We've got to get ahead of the game. That's why when I look at this opportunity here, I see Pulse Chain down, right? I see Chainlink versus Ethereum still down. I have my core coins and still accumulating them. If you are accumulated, just keep holding on. This is just how the game works. It stays irrational longer than you can stay solvent and, and saying it'll go down forever until it's finally washed everyone out. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Hey, we could be looking at the bottoms right now for all we know. Woo! We could be looking at the bottoms. But in the future, people will ask you, hey, why did you hodl? Why and how? Well, I've shown you how. Okay, we don't just hodl anything and everything forever. But we have a rhyme and a reason. I'm here as a messenger to show you, okay, there is a reason why I'm doing it. This is what I think is my edge. Yes, every time there's a red candle, people come kick and cream, scream and cry like, ah, oh, you said it was going up, you said it was going up. Go, okay, yeah, man, it's literally 2023. Not once have I told you anything about any day or any month before 2025. We're holding the 2025. If we get scammed up before then, so be it. But 2025... Or nothing. So I'm still accumulating. Pulse, Pulse X, Hex, Chainlink. Get anything, man. You can get whatever you want. I'm just telling you, I'm preparing for the onslaught that's going to happen to altcoins when Bitcoin's finally calm down, wherever she stops, wherever she wants to go. My final ultimatum is that you are my friend forever, baby dolls. Tell mom and dad, they're my friends too, and we love them. Like, subscribe, press the bell button, and I'm going to catch you in the next one.